Good morning and welcome to the Friday edition of Sports This Morning on your award-winning channels television. My name is Yemi Adebayo and uh, we're here to do what we love doing um, this time of the day, which is taking you on a trip across the money-spinning world of sport. Well, a, a, a lot is happening and um, what, we're try, what we're going to do this morning is to let you in on what to expect for the weekend and take you through some of the things that have happened during the week. Well, before I go any further, let me um, give to you the top stories making the rounds in this part of the world. Uh, of course, we start, of course, with Brown Ide, uh, forgotten Super Egos forward Brown Ide is having um, a change of heart. Uh, he wants to stay in the English Premier League. We'll be talking about that uh, a lot on the program. His team is going to be involved in uh, the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. Uh, I'm sure you already know that, but that's a change of hearts, not going to the Middle East anymore. Okay? All right, we um, move on from there. Nigeria's flying eagles are ready to conquer Africa. Uh, it's no longer news that the team is already in Dakar, Senegal, preparing for the African Youth uh, Championship. It starts on Sunday. Uh, the team has uh, promised to deliver. We'll wait to see how all of that um, pans out. And of course, there is the Soweto Derby um, <laughs> this weekend, and um, it's going to be interesting. Kaiser Chiefs taking on uh, Orlando uh, Pirates uh, uh, at the FNB Stadium. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how uh, that pans out. It's a huge one uh, for all of us of football across uh, the continent. Just reminds you also of the Cairo Derby, uh, and of course, the Oriental Derby also uh, here in Nigeria. Okay. Uh, we move on uh, to the last piece of news for you, uh, and that's uh, it's going to be cricket. Uh, and of course, uh, the Proteas, they're facing their biggest test so far in the 2015 Cricket uh, World Cup. Uh, that's the game that will be played against Pakistan tomorrow. Of course, there's lo they've lost to India already. They've won three matches in Pool B. But the biggest test, as far as cricket fans are concerned, is the game against Pakistan. Well, for Zimbabwe, uh, they'll try to see if they can't get close to that fourth uh, place in Pool B, but looking increasingly difficult. Okay, those are the top stories uh, from this part of the world. Uh, well, we've always told you that you're key, you're very important, and we always love to hear you speak to us. We always love to have your thoughts and your comments. And this is how you can do it. I'm very sure it's going to come up on your screen um, shortly via feedback. You can uh, get across to us on Twitter. You can get across to us on Facebook. Of course, on Twitter, it is channels, um, I, uh, channels underscore sports as your official Twitter handle. And of course, on Facebook. Well, that's it on your screen. On Facebook is channels iPhone sports. Let's talk about the Soweto Derby. I mean, talk to us. Do you feel, um, in terms of significance, it, it's as um, come ahead of the Cairo Derby? Uh, let, let's talk about that this morning. Let's also talk about the Flying Eagles. Uh, how far do you think they can go in Senegal? Uh, and of course, let's talk cricket. Um, for lovers, it's not always about football. Let's also talk about cricket. Uh, how far do you think the Proteas can go? Uh, in the ICC Cricket World Cup. All right, um, let's go on a break now. Let's take you to what happened a uh, few months back. It's also a derby uh, of some sort. Um, Abia Warriors and Ayimba. We allow you to enjoy that, that we come back for more sports this morning. He has fought uh, for Ayimba International on the pitch, though. Throw in taken. Towards the hand of a player. It's a penalty, unbelievable. Penalty to Abia Warriors. Saturday, this football here. Chima Uluocha against Femi Thomas. Uluocha! It's a 1 0. Doesn't take prisoners at all. Ayimba, cut forward again, trying to attack. And ball, and it's penalty again. Penalty this time for Ayimba International. Surely, unlike the first penalty call, this one, Mforudo! It's 1-1! One, one. The corner kick comes. 
a left-footed one, a swung in, and Thomas punches out, and he comes and rebound, and it is almost there. It's a goal for the Warriors. Rashid to Ugu. Ugu can cross. Decides to go. Ugu! It's a goal for Ugu! What a goal! Unbelievable! And he took it with his weaker foot. Control with the better of his two foot or two feet. And of course, shot with his right. And what a goal from where of 30 yards. Come and Kwan continues so propelling himself forward, not for the first, not for the second time. That's sure that Ayimba's strategies are sure working for this moment. And that is a belter of a goal. Ayimba going to the lead for the first time in this match. Or Labi Yiris that puts Ayimba into the lead. They were not happy at all when their warriors came and conquered them in a bat. Certainly true, and there's no way of. Tikatara with the equalizer. Mike took that off me. That's a calling out boy. Russ uh, completed it. Just as fans were leaving, these fans have enjoyed it. Sin Tikatara coming back. And it's 3 3 here. And what a match on our hands. Chisum Tikatara. Remember the name, the calling out boy. He came in as a substitute with the points to prove. Bishop Onudio, his own contribution there was making sure he offset the defense. Chikatera, good first touch with his chest, and ballooned it into the net. Femi Thomas has no answer for that. So make it the equalizer of the day. But then in all of this, it shows the fighting spirit that these kids do have. They will hate to have won the match away and lose the home version. All right, welcome back. That game ended 3-3. Three, three. Um, the game between Abia Warriors and Ahimba. We're going to see more of that, uh, of course. The league starts this weekend we're going to see more of that well let me really introduce my partner on the show to you Kule Philip joins me as we take a look at all the things that will go down this weekend all things happening in the money spinning world of sports Kule let me quickly welcome you to the show this morning yeah good morning then. it's good to be on the show yeah all right let, let's talk about let's start from home uh, charity they say begins at home uh the Globe Premier League there was a sad incident of um, the robbery attack on Cardinal Pilas uh, pairs on officials of the reigning league champions. But of course, um, the LMC has said the other matches will, will go, go on. on. Yeah. Uh, Atlant, Canopy was also supposed to be the star, star attraction yeah, for, for, for week this weekend. One. Yeah. But there are other, other games. Yeah, there are some, there are some uh, other games as well. Sad that that's actually happened. It happened along that local road. Uh, today, I mean, this weekend, Inuba will take on Aqua United. Mm -hmm. And the Dolphins will also be up against um, Quara United Sharks. Of Port Harcourt will trade tackles with um, Sunshine Stars of Akure. Okay. I remember that um, the likes of um, Dili Olong Dari and Ajani have been suspended, suspended. Okay. Uh, indefinitely for gross indiscipline. Now, of course, uh, Ifan Uba FC will take on Warrior Wolves. FC Taraba will be up against Rangers. Bayesa United will trade tackles with Lobby Stars of Marco. The Wicked Tourist, uh, debutant in the Nigerian uh, professional football league, will take on another debutant uh, talking about shooting stars of the battle. They are not the debutants. They are uh, coming back. They are coming back. Yeah, they are, they, they are returning. Maybe that's that's a that's the right way to use. Yeah, to use. Uh, they they been away for a while. For a while, yeah. But they're, just, they're just, just coming like, back. Just yeah. like shooting stars of Ibadan. Our uh, Academy Warriors will take on Nasua United. Gewa FC against Abia Warriors. And of course, the game that has been postponed, uh, Atlant FC uh, against Encarno Okay, now, now that we're not going to see Atlant and, and, and Cano Pilar, so which matches do you think uh, the uh, fans yeah. sh should look out for quickly? Yeah, any game that actually involves uh, the People's Elephant, uh, Aimba Football Club of Abba, should definitely be of interest. Of course, uh, you know, it, being the first the match they want fixture, uh, everybody will actually be open. Want to start that, well. Yeah, want to start on a very good note. And of course, uh, looking at the way um, you know, the people's element has spared, particularly in their uh, in the CAF Champions League, the way they took apart uh, their, their opponents. opponents. You know, they want to say they really are in a very good form. And of course, um, they should get the three maximum points in Abba. Okay, all right. So uh, we hope that um, all things will go well for um, Nigerian uh, Premier League. All things will go well for, for the teams as the games begin. All right, uh, let's. Um, Talk about the Super Sun Eagles. Uh, they, are, they are in the news. Uh, we'll be participating uh, in um, 
in an event in South Africa. South Africa. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the team are actually uh, in South Africa as we speak. Mm -hmm. uh, Coach Adamu Audi has actually invited 12 players uh, to just for honors. And they'll be playing their first game uh, today, uh, later today. Uh, that's, uh, it should be at 2.30 mm -hmm. uh, p.m. against uh, the beach team of um, Ghana. And, uh, you know, the rivalry, the antipathy. Yes, it's always a very, very hard, uh, a, a tough encounter. So we hope that um, the exploit of the beach team will come to full. They played three games, uh, friendly games, and they've won convincingly. Won against uh, 36 Lions, which they won five by five goals to one. They defeated Leeds United uh, beach team as well by a whopping 14 to goals to four. And of course, they also defeated uh, Badagri United in their last yeah. game. You said whooping. Uh, yeah. You should expect such color. It's, it's beach soccer. Yeah. yeah. It's beach soccer. So. Yeah. You know, but, but you know, when they, when they actually took on uh, 36 Lions, it wasn't as convincing as, uh, as the you know, others. As the others. Uh, okay. You know, they won 5-1 in that one. So with the caliber of players at the beach goes disposal, one who will expect them to actually uh, you know, tear their opponents apart. The, the Ghanaians are also it hard not to crack. What okay. I tell you, all right. Uh, the N team. Nigerians, uh, trust Nigerians. We are always um, sometimes we can be reckless uh, in our optimism, but but, but that's cool for you. Hoping that the Beach Eagles, the San San Eagles, as some <laughs> some will call them, will um, make us proud uh, right there in South Africa.